Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that all bell notification. In that way, you won't miss any time I publish a new video. All right, so what are we going to be making today? Well, today we'll be making rice with chicken or arroz con pollo. So let's get started. Okay, so I want to make some rice and chicken tomorrow. And so I'm going to season my chicken today. So it will be able to marinate overnight. Okay, so here I have some chicken thighs that I cut in half. So to this, I'm going to add one teaspoon of sea salt. I'm going to add my garlic lovers or purple seasoning. I will leave a link in the description for this. I will put some garlic powder, put some onion powder, I'm going to put some turmeric powder for color. Now traditionally in Spanish cooking they would use sazon. I don't want to use the sazon because it uses, it uses an artificial coloring and I don't like using artificial coloring so I'm going to just use the turmeric powder and another ingredient which I'll do tomorrow. Here I'm going to add some garlic and ginger here and I'm going to add also about a heaping tablespoon of sofrito. I will leave a link in the description showing you how to make sofrito. Okay good so now let's Combine everything together, give it a nice massage. Guys, doesn't that look pretty? All right, so now we're going to cover with cling wrap and put it in the fridge until we're ready to cook tomorrow. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do now is cut up our ingredients. Okay, so let me show you everything that I'm going to be putting in my rice with chicken. Um, so the, I'm, you don't have to watch me cut up everything. So I'm going to be dicing up some onion, some red bell pepper, green bell pepper, some tomatoes, some pumpkin, and some seasoning peppers. Okay, so this is what I'm going to dice up now. All right, so we have our onion there. Maybe I can put a little more. Let's put a little more. All right, so we have our onion prepared. All right, let me cut up the bell pepper. I'm going to get to cutting up the rest of these ingredients and then I'll be back. Okay, so as you can see, I have my mise en place all in place. Everything is cut up. I have my onions, my peppers, my tomatoes, my pumpkin, my seasoning peppers. I have washed two cups of rice here. I'm using long grain rice. Now, traditionally, you would use medium grain rice for this dish, but medium grain rice is hard to find. So I'm using long grain rice. I have my chicken that I seasoned yesterday that you saw. Um, I have three and a half cups of chicken broth that I'll be using and one cup of tomato sauce. And of course I have the other spices that I'll be needing in order to make my rice with chicken or arroz con pollo. All right, so let's head over to the stove so we can start so cooking. we are going to brown our chicken now so i'm going to add some olive oil here to my pot let's add in our chicken All right, so we're going to leave this 
to brown on both sides okay okay so I'm gonna turn my chicken over to brown on the other side Now I'm going to remove my chicken and set it aside. Alright, so to this oil here, we're going to add our onion, our peppers, we're going to add our pumpkin. I'm going to add our tomatoes. On top of the tomatoes, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of sugar. Okay, I'm using jaggery powder. We're going to add in our... We're going to add in our rice. This is washed already. We're going to also add in some tomato paste I'll say about one tablespoon that I have remaining so we're going to put that in uh, we're going to throw in a bay leaf what else we're going to put some ground cumin we're going to add some ground coriander I'm going to add some chili powder. I'm going to add some turmeric powder. I have an all purpose garlic lover seasoning blend. I'm going to add some. I will leave a link in the description for you. I'm going to add some oregano, dried oregano. You have to season this with some salt. I'm going to add some salt. I added about two teaspoons of salt there. We're also going to add a half cup of sofrito. I will leave a link in the, in the description showing you how I made my sofrito. All right, let me just give this a little stir because I have some more things to add as well. So let me just give this a little bit of a stir. Okay. Guys, can you see all the colors there? Doesn't it look beautiful? Pretty with all the colors. Okay. All right, so now we're going to add the rest of things. So I'm going to add one cup of tomato sauce. I'm going to add three and a half cups of chicken broth. I'm putting it in the same bowl to mix that I had my seasoning for my chicken. Okay. Let's give this a stir. Now, traditionally, what would also be added to this is a packet of Saison. I am not going to use that only because it has some artificial coloring and I don't like using artificial coloring. That's why I added the turmeric powder and I'm going to add a natto oil as well to it for the color. Okay, so I will leave a link in the description showing you how to make the natto oil. I personally, I just don't like using artificial coloring. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I added about two teaspoons of the anato oil here. All right, so now we have to add back the chicken to this. I'm going to add back the chicken to our pot here. All right, so first I'm going to leave this to come up to a boil. Let me just add back the juices. All right, so I'm going to leave this to come up to a boil and then I will cover it.
What I will also add to this is a no chicken stock cube as well. Okay, so now we're going to cover our pot here with a tight lid and we're going to leave it to simmer. We're going to turn on our heat and leave it to simmer for about 20 minutes. Okay guys, so our 20 minutes is up. So I'm going to uncover this now. I'm going to stir it. Alright, so we need some more of this water to burn out. So we'll just leave it open now and um, I'll raise my heat a little bit to allow the excess liquid to evaporate. Okay. Okay guys, so our rice with chicken or arroz con pollo is now completed. Um, make sure and taste the salt. I did have to add some extra salt to mine and I did add a little extra sugar in order to help balance off the flavors. I'm going to add something optional which is cayenne pepper to mine now because I like a little heat. So I'm just going to add a little bit of cayenne pepper to it now. And let me just stir this in. And then I'm going to garnish with some fresh cilantro from my garden.